James Olin. I'm the creative director of the Austin Bioware Studio and the lead designer of the Star Wars. Fantastic. So, uh, design uh, has been a big focus, and today we've learned a lot about combat, at least how it works with um, the player classes in group combat. We saw an example of the four Republic classes working together, the Jedi Knight, the Jedi Consular, the Smuggler, and the Trooper. Um, would you like to go a little more in depth about how those, how these classes can interact in a group setting? Um, yeah, we've given every single one of the classes uh, different roles, um, much like the classic roles that you've seen in uh, MMOs before, or the MMO genre. Um, that was how we initially concepted the classes. The initial concept of the class was we wanted to get all the iconic um, characters from the movies into our games. And we have the bounty hunter who's cool with that, you know, the smuggler, console, you know, Darth Vader's support. But once we had those archetypes, we wanted to make sure that they also fit within the animal norm. So we, you know, we wanted to have the, the DPS, the damage dealer. We wanted to have the tank, um, the guy who absorbed all the damage. We wanted to have the ranged DPS. Um, so we looked at the classes, and you know, for example, on the Republic side, the classes you just mentioned, um, the uh, Jedi Knight is more of a DPS class, though he can also, depending upon which um, advanced class he chooses, can go into more of a tank role. Um, the trooper is more of a tank role, but he also has a ranged DPS. The smuggler is um, a ranged DPS, and the Jedi Consular is more of a control character. But you'll notice that I was, I was saying that each of those classes had, could fill two different roles, and that's because of our advanced class system. The advanced class system actually allows you, once you reach level 10, to not my work between oh, two different roles. So, as, uh, for example, as um, uh, yes, the, the Jedi Knight. As a Jedi Knight, you can decide to go down more of a heavily armored um, path, where you have a single lightsaber, and you have heavy armor, and you're more of a tank character who goes in there and absorbs damage. Or you can go down a path where you're much more of a DPS guy, where you're wielding double, uh, double lightsabers. It's much more about dealing out damage fast. Um, so, and each of the classes has that choice. We wanted to, it, it kind of allows us to give more class choice um, later on in the game. Uh, we have a basic idea from what you just said about the Republic classes. Um, we were only able to play two of the Sith classes today, but we have, you know, we're Darth Vader, we have a lot of Sith following, love the shirt by the way. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, in regards to the Sith classes, uh, or how do those, how does the split work with them in regards to how does that advanced class shake up each one of those classes? Well, um, so on the Sith side, um, we have the four classes, the Sith Inquisitor, the Sith Warrior, the Bounty Hunter, and the Imperial Agent. Um, and uh, the Imperial Agent is uh, a ranged DPS character. He's actually right. quite unique because he uses the cover. He's kind of our sniper character. Type. Um, and uh, he's actually, he plays a lot different from any other class, from any other MMO that I've seen. Um, the Bounty Hunter is more heavily armored. He can be a, a tank role, though he also um, can do ranged DPS. The um, uh, Sith Warrior is very much a tank character, um, and the Sith Inquisitor is a control or ranged DPS as well. Now, the way they can change, um, the Sith Warrior uh, can diverge. You know, you can go to the classic Darth Vader road, which is I wear you know, really heavy armor, single lightsaber. If you're a Darth Vader uh, fan, that's who you want to be, and you're going to be the um, the tank character. You're going to be able to take a lot of damage. You know, Darth Vader just deflects on so the flash bolts, then pressure strikes back. He's able to take a lot of damage. Or if you want to be more of uh, you want to be more of a DPS guy, you can go more the dual lightsaber route and and uh, be much more of an aggressive character. Um, and that's uh, more like Dan and Skywalker from Episode Two. Right. So those those are kind of the two paths there. The Inquisitor, which we've gone into a little bit of detail about our website, but the Inquisitor, you really get to choose between the Darth Maul route and the Emperor Palpatine route. So you know, the Darth Maul route is your very agile, you know, the the, 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 um, uh, the staff saber, and the the uh, Palpatine route is your all about lightning. Um, so and, and control powers, and, uh, you know, you're more of a sorcerer um, than you are a lightsaber wielder. You operate at range, and um, yeah, if you're if you're a fan of mages and sorcerers and all that, that's who you probably want to be. So that's an interesting uh, combination you've got with, we know about the Sith, the Marauder is kind of the Sith warrior, yeah. the, the more of the DPS Sith warrior, not the Anakin Skywalker like you said. And then you've got the Maul route on the Inquisitor that's much more of like another light armor DPS. So they've got, are they, are, is it, what's, this, what's the difference between these two that makes them so distinct? Because beyond, beyond the fact that obviously they have completely unique stories and 
and and things like that. Uh, well, there are the, uh, like there are a lot of visual differences, obviously, like um, in the types of armor they wear. You know, like the Inquisitors always going to be light armor, the Warriors always going to be the heavier armor. The types of lightsabers they use. You know, the full staff is uh, lightsaber is restricted to the Inquisitor, while you know, the, the lightsaber is for the Assistant Warrior. Um, also, because of the core powers, you know, the, core power, the Inquisitor is always going to be more of a sorcerer type. You know, more of the because you know he has um, things like the ability to you know, the dark gift healing ability. Um, he has. Um, and the lightning powers. These are things that um, the Sith Warrior doesn't have. Um, oh, I gotcha. So, and the Sith Warrior does have, like, you know, Sith Warrior is very much our Darth Vader class. You know, he, he has the telekinetic kill, like the, uh, the choke, um, which the Sith Warrior doesn't. But so they, they're going to always feel different. Like, um, Sith Warrior is going to be about armor, much more lightsaber abilities, you know, more telekinetic like uh, powers, like the Force Choke, while the Sith Inquisitor has lighter armor, um, lightning powers, and it yeah, feels more like a special. So you mentioned uh, the the saber staff being the inquisitor and the dual wheel being the warrior. Um, is that and you've got kind of a distinction between how the the marauder or the vanguard vanguard has a single saber and the marauders kind of working with with two weapons. You mentioned the same thing with the Jedi knight or the juggernaut. Sorry, the juggernaut and has a single wield and the the marauder has a dual wield. Is that class, or that weapon focus split, kind of indicative of most of the advanced classes? We heard that the smuggler has a focus on two wheel, two guns, or single guns. Is that something that we see through all the classes? Yes. Um, so, in trying to make sure that all the classes are distinct, so they the advanced class, we wanted to fight. There's different ways that you would visit things. We just didn't want it to be able to step back statistics. We wanted it to be something that, you know, when you saw these characters in action, you could immediately tell, like, you know, that's a juggernaut, that's a marauder. And so, every single um, class, when they choose, yeah, they, it's often like the type of like, gear they get to wear is one thing that change, the type of weapons they're going to um, use, and obviously there are other powers as well. So yeah, we have, um, we have the different, like, uh, uh, as you said, the smuggler, you, know, you have uh, the smuggler with the dual blasters, you have the smuggler with the um, single blaster and the uh, kind of like shotgun blaster, and this is the backup. Um, you know, the, the Sith and the Jedi, it's all about like the different kinds of lightsaber configurations they have. The single lightsaber, the full staff lightsaber, and the dual lightsaber. Um, and with the, uh, you know, the trooper class, you know, for example, on the Republic side, you know, he can go the huge, like you saw the trailer with the, the massive guns, he can go that route, you know, it's, it's like he's much more of a, you know, a walking turret, or he can be more of like a super soldier, um, you know, with like, uh, with a, a, a very powerful blaster rifle, but you know, he's not, he's more maneuvering, and he's not just about walking around, he's like, uh, personally I'm probably always going to pick a trooper with a huge gun. Of course, you got to have the, got to have the giant chain gun. Um, well then these advanced, these advanced classes are obviously showing that they have a great amount of uh, uh, distinction. You know, like you said, you want people to know this is a gunslinger, this is a scoundrel when you see him from a long distance away. Um, do we know yet, or are we allowed to talk about yet, if these class choices are permanent? Whenever you choose to become a scoundrel, you can never be a gunslinger unless you roll into the character? Or are they, some, are they, are they permanent or are they not? That's something you know we uh, we we have design discussions about. It's something that um, we probably won't make a decision about until later on in the game because it's not something that we have to we have to rush a decision on. We're going to see how playtesting like that goes, and then we're going to make the, the call then. And also because massive multiplayer games are constantly evolving, you know, you know we might decide to go one way, and then once you know, our population you know, reaches like a, it gets a little more experience, we have more people at high level. We make it up to like reverse that decision. So, yeah, I guess we haven't decided. Right, right. But 